What's up guys, I'm Jed Abendroth and this is Big Man Fitness. All right, don't forget to reach on down here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. Always helps with the channel. And speaking of helping with the channel, don't forget to share this on Facebook, Twitter, through email. Share it to your friends, your family, people that may find it informative or at least entertaining. Help my channel out if you don't mind and help me bring more and more videos to you. So recently we've really been talking about well, cardio and the good effects of cardio, the, the bad things about cardio. <clears throat> now, today I'm talking to you about, well, kind of my new routine and how cardio really marries with my my lifting, my strength training as it would be. So, for the last like month and a half, I've really been, well, focusing on lifting and doing my cardio in the morning. So, been getting up at the two o'clock before my knee issue going for a jog in the morning and then lifting for about an hour or so depending on which day and what body part I'm, I'm hitting that day and I was seeing some incredible results <clears throat> here recently with the bad knee I've really been I'm going out for the walk and I'm lifting but I'm noticing a difference and that's what I'm talking to you guys about today so I'm out there I'm well, I'm doing what I need to do, going for that walk, but my heart rate, I, uh, on the uphills, I'm lucky if I get it up to 117 with a good brisk walk. My jogs, I was hitting about 150 to 155. Of course, I wasn't maintaining that. I'd stop, walk for a minute, and then start jogging again. And why is this important? Well, again, as we spoke about in during the intensity video, well, my intensity was much better, not just during my cardio, but because my heart had been pumping so hard, I was able to keep a higher heart rate during my lifts. So I was, I was getting better results in my lifts, feeling much better after my lifts. And then I had more intensity during the lift. So having that cardio as, a, as almost like a warm up to my lifting, well, it greatly impacted everything I was doing out in the gym because of what I did out on the street. My days, God, were, and I know I've talked about this, going for runs in the morning and going to work, how well and how good I felt and just how amazing everything felt. It was night and day versus the days that I decided to sleep in and not work out. And, and again, uh, this is something I'm pushing. You guys don't have to do this. You don't have to try it. But if it is something you want to try, start off slowly. Build your way into it. Don't just jump in. But you may notice this the same kind of difference as well. And you don't have to do it in the morning, maybe in the afternoons. But using that cardio to help boost my heart rate. And then, of course, going right into a lift. Maybe taking 10 minutes between the cardio and the lifting. And I... I'm telling you, the difference was amazing. I don't have the scientific studies or anything to back this up, but. So, during my walks, I might peak out at like 119, 120 heart rate while lifting, but generally 107 to 110, best. That's the best I can get. The intensity is there, but it's just not as, it's there, but it's not there. Does that make sense? And, during my runs, again, I'm out there, I'm peaking at like 150, 155, maintaining like 130, oh, the heart rate. So then when I'm lifting, 120 to 125, pretty much the whole lift, a lot better heart rate. And it does, it feels so much more intense. Like I'm just feeling, you know, like raw and huge difference. So I can't wait till I get this, this stationary bike here. Uh, because of the knee issues so I can try to get that heart rate up again And you don't need to do a half hour of cardio if you're going right into a lift What I found 20 15 20 minutes going to the lift perfect 
I'm still hitting more than half an hour. I'm still burning seven, 800 calories in that amount of time with a higher heart rate. Where now, the lower heart rate, I'm hitting ah, 500 calories through both workouts. Not horrible by any stretch of the means. But again, the difference of even how I feel throughout the rest of the day between the cardio, the, the higher heart rate cardio versus just the walking cardio, the rest of the day, I was, boom, I'm, I'm ready to roll, I'm ready to do everything, I'm ready to have fun, get things done. I'm still awake, I'm still doing things I, I should be doing, and I just don't feel that pep when it's just the walk versus when I was out there really pushing myself and exerting energy while well, in the morning. That's why, in a way, I want to make this video. The little differences I see and the results I see are, are pretty are pretty substantial when it comes to again as we also just did a video on when there's there's a higher intensity in my cardio leading into my lift gives me a higher intensity for my lift. So what what am I trying to tell you guys? Well, again. For years, I was a run in the morning, walk in the morning, whatever, lift at night, and then do it the next day. And what I have found is doing everything in the morning, and I, I'm telling you right now, I'm fully committed to this uh, for the long term that I can see, foresee, having a warm up, going out doing cardio, using that cardio as a warm up to my lift is a night and day difference compared to how I used to think and, and do things. And I've, as I've told you guys, this is an ever-changing plan that I'm on. If something's not working, I'm moving away from it. I'm not just gonna keep beating myself to try to get something to, to kind of maybe work. So it's always very important to me to, well, discuss this with you guys because, man, this is, this is kind of important. This is what I, I'm trying to live this lifestyle and I'm trying to express it to you, to you, my followers, because you, this may be something that helps you. Again, you don't have to get up first thing in the morning. You could do it in the evenings, but I'm telling you, if you use that cardio, well, as your warm up to any other activity that you're doing, supplement your activity with some kind of car, cardio, you know, whether it's yoga, it doesn't have to be the lifting. It could be so many different things. But, well, supplement it. Again, we've done videos on supplements. They're there to help you, but your main focus should be the other stuff. Real foods versus supplements, or my lift is my main focus, but getting that cardio in, well, that's kind of important too. So, again, that's what I have for you this week. It's a huge difference in what I see, how I feel, the results that I'm getting, and really just, I can't wait to get back to it. I'm going to be down for a couple weeks. Hopefully, I'll have the bike here next weekend so that the following week, I can really get started on the biking in the morning, then going out and lifting so I can get that get that heart rate back up, man. It's, it's such a big deal for me right now because I feel like, imagine trying to swim through water or swim through sludge. That's how it feels. If, if you want a good analogy to think about it, swim through water, it's crystal clear, you're, you're no issues, you can just cut right through. But when you're swimming through sludge, you feel tired and you're not, you're, you're struggling, you're pushing, you're pushing, pushing, but you're not making any, any real distance or goals. And that's kind of how it feels, not getting my heart rate up to get what I want and get done what I need to get done. Get done. All right, guys, so that's what I had for you this week. Don't forget, you can always find me on Facebook, Jedediah Raymond Abendroth. From there, I can lead you to the uh, Facebook group that I've made for this channel. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, at JedFDK. And as always, if you don't feel comfortable reaching out to me on any of these platforms, then please, 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 please send me an email. BMFJED at gmail.com. 
I'd love to hear from you guys, keep these conversations going. And as always, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, go please check them out. And I will see you guys next week. Stay fit, stay healthy. Peace.